Hello folks, in this final video on multiple columns in our Markdown documents, I'm talking about Word documents. They're a collection of packages uh, known as the Officeverse for creating and manipulating Microsoft Word and, pa and PowerPoint files as well. There are two packages from this Officeverse that facilitate us to create multiple columns in Word documents. The first one of these is Office Down. Office Down provides additional R Markdown output formats for creating Word files and PowerPoint files. In order to use these, we change the YAML header to contain uh, Office Down colon colon RDocs output. Once we then set that as our output type, we can make use of the Office R package to programmatically modify the Word document as being knitted together. To add columns to an R Markdown document, we, we need to use the function run column break function. But there's actually two steps that we need to go through to create our, our columns. The first step is we need to use a pair of HTML comments in our document. And we need to put our, our first comment just before the two columns are supposed to start and just after the columns start as well. So this, is an HTML comment. So this is what makes an HTML comment. And this is the special bit of text which tells Office Down and Office and Office R that you are going to have multiple columns inside of this section of your R Markdown document. And then what you need to do is you need to call the run column break function as an inline expression right at the beginning of the content for the second column. But in order for that to make sense, you kind of need to know what is an inline expression. An inline expression allows us to run our code within, our, within Markdown content instead of in a code chunk. So if I wanted to write a sentence, there are four lights, but I wanted that four to be calculated from our code, then this is how I would write an inline code chunk. So backticks begin the code chunk, R specifies the language, you put a space and then the code run. So with that in mind, let's go and look at an example Word document generated from our markdown. So we go over to here and we can see at the top of the document, I've changed my output fo uh, format to Office Down RDocs document. And you can see I'm loading the Office R package here. And then I'm going to knit that document together which just takes a little bit of time. And it's just going to go and open up Microsoft Word. Okay, there we go. Wonderful, okay. So, right, sorry, that went to my other screen, which it shouldn't have done. Right. So this document contains the same information as I, as I just showed you in slides. Um, it talks about what an inline expression is. I've added, uh, I've manually added a page breaker with run page break. Uh, so I've done that to ensure that the columns are not split over a page. And also just to demonstrate you that we can do, we demonstrate to you that we can do that with the Office R package. We can manipulate uh, page breaking. So. Here's our first example of two, two column layout. So this text here is not contained in two columns. The two columns begin just after here. So this is column one and this is column two. And then this text is just below the HTML comment. So let's go over to our studio and look at that. So if we go to our studio, we can see my first example of the two, lay two column layout begins here. So this is where the first this is where the first HTML comment uh, starts. Then you can see that the second column begins here. So I've got my inline R expression. And then I've got my chart. I've added a little bit of additional flush to this. Uh, so it's, uh, it's got a caption in it as well, just to show you that's possible. And then we've got our closing HTML comment, which closes the multi-column environment of the Word document. And let me go back to that Word document. This doesn't look very tidy at all. Um, it's chopped off. This isn't centered. It would be really nice if we had a line down the center of this. So 
it's possible for us to customize the multi-column uh, environment. So here you can see it looks much better. They are truly taking up 50% of the width. There's this nice line down the middle and there's a little bit of space either side of that line as well. So how's that achieved? Well, let's go over to the R Markdown document and see. So everything is the same at the start. So the, so the starting, the opening HTML comment is the same. And run column, run column break is the same as well. It's the final code, uh, co uh, code comment which is different. So you can see here, this is where we're specifying the attributes for the multi-column environment. So we want the widths to be 3-3. Three three three. We want a space between them of 0 0.2. And we're setting separator equals tree. Okay, so that finishes this overview of how to create multiple columns in different R Markdown outputs and in ggpot 2 visualizations as well. I'm sure that you'll have questions, so please do add them to this thread and I'll try and create examples of things that you want uh, based on the questions. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers.